Hello there, how the devil are you? My name is Adam. Today I'm going to be discussing the latest Rob Zombie film, Three from Hell. The search for the fugitives known as the Devil's Rejects resulted in a violent clash with police. Chances for survival are less than a million to one. There's no justice in this world. I am justice. They're trying to blame us, but we didn't do it. Free the three. 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 <laughs> Rob Zombie's follow-up to House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Reject, Three from Hell, is Zombie back at the grindhouse horror thing with his Firefly franchise. The film stars Sherry Moon Zombie, Sid Haig, Bill Moseley and Richard Brake. The plot. Somehow the terrible trio have survived the big shootout at the end of The Devil's Rejects and have been spending their days behind bars for the last 10 years contemplating getting out and doing nasty shit. Sid Haig and his character, Captain Spaulding, are in the film very briefly. Uh, this was due to Sid Haig being pretty ill during the filming, uh, so it was a limited amount of time they had to shoot with him. But his presence was definitely felt in the film, and um, it wouldn't have been the same without him. So, uh, and as we know now, he's uh, actually passed on. So rest in peace, Sid Haig. Otis, while on prison yard duty, reunites with his half-brother, Winslow Foxy Coltrane, and breaks out of jail not before killing Rondo, played by Danny Trejo. Rondo was arrested at the end of the previous film and sent to the same prison as them. And with Captain Spaulding out of the picture, via lethal injection, only Baby remains. And boy is she crazier than ever, killing some fellow inmates, carving her name into their foreheads and seeing visions of ballerina cats. Otis and Foxy bust Baby out of the joint in rather brutal fashion by killing off members of the warden's family until he sets her free. And when he does so, they finish him off too. Oh, and a pant-wetting clown for good measure. The terrible trio then hightail it to Mexico to get out of Dodge. They party and let their hair down once there, drinking tequila, fucking hookers and throwing some knives. Their partying is interrupted, however, when the son of Rondo and his Mexican gang are made aware of the Firefly's whereabouts. That's when all hell breaks loose. This film is pretty straightforward really, um, stab somebody, machete somebody, shoot somebody, laugh about it, say fuck you and then move on. I really like the cinematography in this film, um, very gritty, very almost like a desert like sheen to it, uh, which is sort of very standard with Rob Zombie films, but yeah I really enjoy the cinematography. My favourite part of the movie has to be when they go to Mexico, uh, especially visually wise, uh, when they go to the bar it looks very neon. Uh, when they are confronted by the Mexican gangsters with the, the uh, wrestling masks on, it looks very colourful, almost cartoon-like. I love the scene when Baby is having a throwing knife contest with one of the guys at the bar and she just uh, really fucks on him and it's just really good to see and it's an enjoyable scene. My standout in the film has to be Baby. She was one wacky bitch. I mean, she really amped up her crazy to 11 in this film um, and whenever she was on, on screen, she just demanded attention. Otis is like a grumpy old Charles Manson. Uh, Foxy is, uh, is good too, he's a great addition to the team and he really fits in well. Overall this isn't breaking the mould when it comes to Rob Zombie films, um, it's a very standard affair kind of thing. He's got his own style and formula to the, when it comes to his films, but uh, when something's broke you don't need to try and fix it, it's still a good formula and it works. This isn't my favourite Rob Zombie film, uh, my personal favourites happen to be like Lords of Salem, I really enjoyed that one. That was uh, very different and weird. I like weird stuff. Um, I enjoyed the Halloween remake. I know it's not particularly popular, that film, but I did enjoy looking back at Michael Myers' early life. Um, I obviously enjoyed Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses too. They were good films. Um, like I say, if you like Rob Zombie films and you like what you've seen before from him, then I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this film. So overall, very entertaining film. I would recommend it. Goodbye. I love you.